Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. I'm, my name's uh, Glenn Brady. I'm 42. I was born in uh, Brisbane in 1966. Um, come into my studio where it all happens. Guard dogs. <laughs> That's the bad one there. <laughs> Excited by life, like, because I've had bad times, you know, hospital and stuff. You know, I'm close to suicide at times, but I just couldn't do it because I knew I wasn't, I hadn't done the paintings that I wanted to, and that was the main thing. I didn't really care about, care about much anything else. People who are crazy don't want to be crazy. That's mm. the thing. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not fun. A lot of the things I paint are, you know, people who aren't, you know, in the best of places. Yeah, I just paint what I've seen, when it's a reflection of what I've seen, you know, it's, it is there, so, and it happens, and it's like, especially with mental illness people, it's like a separate little world going on amongst, you know, this world of fucking, you know, Channel 10 and McDonald's and Big Brother and, you know, this stupid kind of fucking life at times, and then underneath it there's another world going on where people are living horrible fucking lies and no one knows you know hallucinating or fucking walking to the shops you know and that being around that you know, when i was younger i started to think fucking hell because i never knew anything about it really you know it's when you when you're a kid and you walk along with your mum and you see some kind of homeless looking guy and you think oh you know i'll never be like that and then you're 35 you got a fucking half a bowl of vodka in you and you're walking down the street i think i realized that if i didn't start that I never was gonna, I was, I realised that fucking kind of life was like happening, you know, when you're 22 or something, you just, I didn't give a fuck about anything, you know, I was just drinking and running around with mates and being naughty and I kind of realised that I was, if I didn't get, you know, fucking going, um, it wasn't just going to happen and I had to train, you know, like, I had to get into the mode of, um, of doing it. I remember when I first started, I knew, okay, the next painting will be better. Okay, I'll, I've learned a bit from that one and I just fucking went berserk, like, and drawing and seeing, started to see everything as paintings, you know, to get into the, you know, the thing of it. I knew I wanted to paint what was around me, which was where I grew up out at, in the suburbs, you know, the industrial estate and it was all old rusting sheds along the railway tracks and just the colours and I used to roam around there in the grass and you know there were just rows of houses and I knew I, I don't know it was just special to me for some reason and um, but it took a long time. Since I was a kid I just it, I knew um, as soon as I saw um, some books of uh, my mother gave me these books of Henry Lawson and Banjo Patterson poetry and they were illustrated by Pro Hart and I was about 10 and I used to read heaps then and I was reading their uh, poetry through uh, school you had to in school then you know and I was just fucking stunned by his colours you know that was the I'd never seen any other art before and the skies were so blue and they were just sharp and um, I knew I just I had to paint and I couldn't work it out until I was about 26 or 27 just you know you're an artist just so you're brought up in the city and you know have people you get a thrill some people go ah oh, this city is disgusting but for for someone else it might be a thrill to walk around what you see and what you smell and you see fucked up people and good people you have to stay there to achieve and that's what i think is really cool um you know if you relate it to music as well i like bands that sound like where they're from like when i was like 14 and i I heard me not all like bands like um, you know Cold Chisel and that would love them or hate them, but you knew where they were from. You know, a lot of bands now could be from fucking New Farm or they could be from Ohio. You know, and which I just I like you know because I like music with a message, and that 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 really spoke to me that they could make wonderful music and sing about being in fucking Newcastle or something or, you know, you know that stuff just that totally blows my mind like that. It's so hard to do if you, you know, you've ever tried, like, you know. And I'll, well, hopefully I can do that with my paintings. But the, you could go for a walk and there, there'll be 
you know, half a dozen things you could see. I don't want big grand, I try not to make big grand gestures with, with what I'm painting, you know, the fall of fucking Icarus or something, you know, or the meaning of narcissism or something, I don't know, I just, simple, simple things done, trying to uh, be done in a beautiful way. I used to go over to the Queensland Art Gallery and just fucking, the Australian stuff was like, the best stuff I've made. And I thought if I could one day in my life, in my home town, have a painting fucking hung in here, that would be, you know, I'd ring mum. <laughs> Stay focused, Leon, focused.